we're going to create a checkerboard pattern in this tutorial. So to create a checkerboard pattern in Photoshop, we need to set up a new document. Go up to File, down to New. For this document, because the checkerboard pattern, because patterns in general are pixel-based, they're bitmap, they're rasterized, then we need to make sure we create a high quality enough pattern. So depending on the size that you need, in this one, we're just gonna do a thousand by a thousand. You could go larger, you could go smaller. You'll see how we can utilize this here in a little bit. I'm gonna hit create, and so we have a thousand by a thousand pixels. Let's create the first part of the checkerboard, which is basically four squares. We're gonna grab the rectangle tool, make sure the stroke is none, and the fill, you could start with black if you want. So we're just gonna click and drag this down to black. And because I know this is a thousand by a thousand, I know I need four 500 by 500 pixel rectangles with no corner radius. Hit okay. So there's my first rectangle. I can press V as a shortcut key and click and drag and move this guy around. I can hold option or alt, click and drag to duplicate him down to this lower right corner. Now I'm snapping these into place easily with smart guides. So we can turn those on, make sure they're in the view drop down, down to snap. And those smart guides will show up just like that, just by having that snap check marked. Now we have a mini checkerboard right here. You could start with this. If we didn't have that background layer though, we wouldn't have white here. And that's not a problem as long as your background is white. And to make sure it's white, we could unlock that background layer or whatever background we have here. We could fill it with white. We could go to color overlay, make sure it has white. Anything you can do to make sure the background underneath these two black rectangles is white. Now, if you were trying to add a checkerboard pattern that's not white, then what you would do is just add some more rectangles and fill those two spaces in with different color or change this color overlay or the background fill. Anyway, once we add these two black rectangles, we basically have the part of our checkerboard pattern here and we need to define this pattern. We're gonna go up to edit, down to define pattern. Once that pops up, we can actually name it. So we'll name it checkerboard. I might name it checkerboard 1000 pixels and hit okay. All right, nothing happened. Well, something in the background did happen. Let's go back to a new document. This document is 1920 by 1080 in size. I can add the checkerboard pattern here in a couple different ways. I can use pattern overlay on a rectangle shape. I could just use a pattern. Uh, I believe there's a pattern layer right here. So if we click this little half and half circle, we have the pattern fill layer that we can have. And so this pattern fill, you can actually click on the pattern that you want and our saved checkerboard patterns right here. We click on that and we see the checkerboard pattern applied. Now, because we did a thousand by a thousand, it's gonna come in as a thousand by a thousand. So we can scale this up or down. If you go past 100%, that pattern will start to degrade in quality because it's scaling up and it's past 100% quality. So we can scale it down without losing any quality. It's still gonna be sharp. If we needed it bigger, I would go create a pattern that's larger. So instead of a thousand by a thousand on that first pattern document where we defined that pattern, I would create maybe 5,000 by 5,000 or 2,500 by 2,500, whatever you need to make sure you've got that 100% quality. So don't scale it beyond this, in my opinion. But if we need it to scale down, we can scale it down just like that. Now, this is great and all, but I feel like there's a better way to do the pattern because with this, we can't really change the color. If you wanted to change the color, there's a pretty neat trick that you can do. So in my opinion, I would add a rectangle layer with the rectangle tool. Click and drag, make sure it's the size of your document or however big you want. And once we have this rectangle out here, I can actually double click on it to open the layer styles and we can add a pattern overlay. This pattern overlay, I wanna select my checkerboard again. And then we can adjust the opacity, we can adjust the blending mode here, more options than you had with that other pattern fill. We can adjust the angle if you want it offset a little bit. If you don't want it offset, then well, keep that at zero. And of course the scale is here as well. So we could scale that down if we wanted to. Now the cool thing about these layer styles is I could also add a color overlay. This color overlay right now is white. Let's make it red. Let's say you wanted a black and red checkerboard pattern. We need to adjust the blend mode and we can click multiply to put the red color on the white spaces 
of our checkerboard pattern. If we want it to be white and red, so we want the black to be red, we can actually click screen. So now this color shows up on the black. So between screen and multiply, you can select where those colors apply. So that's an easy way to sort of tweak your pattern. Now, if you wanted a colored pattern and you want it to be blue and red as your checkerboard, or you wanted it to be, you know, four different colors, you can do that by creating new patterns over here. It does not have to be black and white. We could take these rectangles and double click on them and we could create red, we could create a green, and now we could define that as a pattern and use that in other documents in different ways. That is how to create a checkerboard pattern here in Photoshop. Let me know if you have any questions down below.